sports. It's in the game. Well, here we are, Alan Smith and myself, Martin Tyler, really looking forward to today's game. Well, here is the team sheet for the home side. Well, we think, Alan, it'll be a 4-5-1 formation, which can look a bit negative. Yeah, but you look at the players in that five, that midfield five, and I think a couple at least will be trying to support the lone frontman. Jonathan Petroipa. going to be very tough for the opposition today to break down the home team's defence. When you look at the stats, very few teams have broken them down. Well, some people call this side boring, but not for me, because uh, they just love their clean sheets, don't they? Attacking now. Good clearance. gone over the line here and they really shouldn't have done so Baptiste Alloway there's a chance for a double for the team that are the visiting team today had a good win against this side that they're visiting in the uh, other match between the two clubs earlier in the season but I'm sure the hosts are really determined to uh, uh, get some revenge. Yeah, I'm sure they are. They should be because they didn't play well in that earlier game. But great chance here for the visitors to take six points off the, their opponents. Nice bit of footwork from the attacker, but it was made too easy for him. Poor defending that. Oh, well, they've shown him the inside. Shots on here. Got in the way. Coming up now, a corner. The ball's just deflected behind for that. Put the corner in the middle. Put away, but not out of harm's way. Maybe he'll cross it here. Giving the opposition a problem with their interpassing. He's got his shot off now. Hit it hard, <laughs> but not very true.
Toure. Conte. Good reading of the play by the defender. It's unlike him, really, to play the ball straight to the opposition. Well, going into this game for the home side, they're in great form, aren't they? Four consecutive wins. What uh, a chance to make it five in a row. Yeah, and they must go out on the pitch there. Full of confidence. The way that they've been playing, creating chances, taking them. Very good. Trying to find a way through here. Probing away. No nonsense defending from him. Another turnover in play here with that interception. Jonathan Petroipa. Couldn't keep it. And up goes the board. There'll be two added minutes. He's looking for the cross. Well, we're halfway through. And we haven't yet got a goal to bring... Kick off here for the start of the second half. Sis. Cabral. And there is some backup for him in this position. Toure. Now it goes into the wider areas where they've got a winger waiting. It's with Toure. He's through. And it's a shot now. One on one and the goalkeeper one out. Good experience there. His positioning was excellent and so were his reactions. Cabral. Tight against the touchline. Pretty clear that it was going to end up with a throw in. Substitution time. Shot's on! Goalkeeper's done well. Toure. We've reached the hour mark. Half an hour to go. Plenty of space out wide, and they're going to use it. And it's going to be uh, a throw here. shot go good connection just off target over the top yeah that has flown off his foot Jonathan Petroipa Got the away manager indicating he wants to make a substitution now. Can whip it in now. And now the shot. The triper. Well, the opposition must have thought they were holding out, but it's a good goal past them. And the opposing manager will be worried now because his team were basing their game on shutting out the opposition. Well, that's failed. And the manager of the team that scored will be delighted. He'd be wondering whether it would come. Well, it has come belatedly, but it might be enough. He's not the easiest of managers to work for, I know that, but his players are doing what he demanded beforehand now. So the first goal, it's 1-0. And 20 minutes to go.
guided through. Put into the middle. But it's rather skewed off his head in the end. Yeah, he, uh, he didn't catch it properly. I think he probably closed his eyes there. Well, they are behind, so it's time for a change. They've got to try and improve their performance somehow. Substitution now for the home team. There's a dangerous feel to this attack. It's looking good from their point of view. Only partially cleared, so there's still some problems for them. It's a terrific effort by the home side here. They've just kept their noses in front, and they're going to need all the support they can get for that threads it through. It's a good cross. Struck the post here. Good defensive clearance there. That'll be a throw. And it's uh, one change. And it looks like it's a case of just trying to freshen the team up a bit. On the move and able to cut out the pass. Well, then it goes. It's not really a way, poor clearance. Shot off! We've got two added minutes. Alloway. come to an end now as the referee calls a halt they've held out to protect the win the goals win them the game but the defenders made it possible because they had such pressure Hi everybody, welcome to you all. Martin Tyler here along with Alan Smith. Uh, Alan's been assessing the conditions. Uh, it's raining. Is that going to help the attackers, do you think? Well, it normally does. Tends to lead to one or two mistakes from defenders. Looked at the forecast beforehand. I don't think this rain's going to let up. Well, there are players here who stand out a bit. These two in particular, I think, today, Alan. Well, two excellent attacking players we are treated to seeing. I'm really enjoying good seasons, and I'm expecting a bit more of the same today. And what about the away team today? How do you feel they will measure up? Always difficult for a manager when he sees his side in mid-table with no chance of uh, getting relegated or winning anything with a handful of games left. He's got to uh, try and motivate his players to, to finish strongly in this season. This is the home team lineup. 
Well, we think, Alan, it'll be a 4-5-1 formation, which can look a bit negative. Yeah, but you look at the players in that five, that midfield five, and I think a couple at least will be trying to support the lone frontman. And the opposing team will start the game like this. I think that back four is really important for them. They've got to be strong and solid, but they've got a bit of protection, haven't they? They have. They should have more than enough. I mean, they're all good defenders in their own rights, but... Uh, in front of them, they've got players who are going to be working really hard. Whether they can be a fit on the front foot, we'll wait and see. Well, that's a comfortable save for the keeper from the header. Well, it's not the most powerful header you'll see this season or even in this match. Didn't time it. run out of play beyond those in the middle for a throw and it's going to be his throw here interception here Jonathan Petroipa. Working hard just to see maybe a sight of goal. Gonna try one now. Drew everything behind that shot and frustrated that it wasn't quite on target. Well, if he keeps getting in those kind of areas, I'm sure he'll score pretty soon. Good place to win the ball here. And here's the shot. He's blocked in with a chance. A really close, great technique there. Oh, there's no finer sight than when you get that right. Unlucky. Really hit well, but didn't trouble the goalkeeper. Yeah, maybe a little sighter for him there. I think he saw the look from the other player and saw where the pass was going and read it. I'm just worried about the rain only in that it's uh, impairing a bit our visibility of the proceedings out there on the pitch. Yeah, we're nice and dry up here, but uh, unlike the players, uh, who will be pretty wet after five minutes, could see what he was trying to do at the defender in the way. Jonathan Petroipa. The shot's on. Well, this isn't getting any better for him, Alan, is it? But he's still going to have time. Still going to have chances, I think, to make amends, but what a chance that was to put his team in the lead. The manager just trying to get his message across down there. They weren't far off taking the lead there. They're playing pretty well. Iglesias. That's good movement forward here. Shot. Had a real chance to get in at goal then. And the verdict on added time is two minutes. Presented possession to the opposition now. And there is the half-time whistle. Nil-nil at the break.
going to be treacherous conditions in the second half because the rain is still coming down and the pitch is getting wetter and wetter. Iglesias. Slipping it through. Good defensive clearance there. Steady at best in the first 45 minutes. Still 45 minutes to go, of course. Well, let's face it, he hasn't played particularly well. It's been poor so far, and his team needs him in the second half. Coming up now, a corner. The ball's just deflected behind for that. He's going to make a change now. Corner played into the middle. That's frustrating to the coaches to see a corner there defended at the front post so easily. Strange game at the moment, the attacking team having all the ball, but not really making many chances because the opposition are defending in numbers. Jonathan Petroipa. And it's been an hour of very good football here. We've still got 30 more minutes to go and... I'm sure we're going to enjoy that as well. Substitute coming up for the away team. Good defending. Jonathan Petroipa. Plenty of width for the team to attack into. In towards the near post. It's a weak cross, really, not getting past the first defender. Sizoko. Jonathan Petroipa. This is an exercise in patience as they try to get an opening. Jonathan Petroipa. Shots on here. The goal at last. The first goal of the game. And we've waited well over an hour to get it. But it's the team that have looked the most likely that have done it. And maybe they will use this as a platform to go on to win now. But they will expect the opposition to come back at them. They'll have to. Angled the ball in with that touch. Knew exactly where the goal was, where the ball was. All about time, and it was so clean, that contact. He's not the easiest of managers to work for, I know that. But his players are doing what he demanded beforehand now. And that has opened the scoring. 1-0 here. Time ticking on. Just over 15 minutes to go. They're looking to make the change now as quickly as possible, the home team. Here's Perez. Well, there's a big support here for them. And those supporters want to see just a little bit more in the time that remains. Well, there's always pressure on you when you're playing in front of a big crowd, your own fans, and the players have shown a few nerves out there today. They've got to lose those. Sizoko. Could get his cross in now. Jonathan Petroipa. Saw the pass coming and got there first. And the ball knocked away long. 
Well, you can't knock the fans. They're trying to do their bit to push the team on for an equaliser here. Here's Perez. And the referee has now called a halt. It's been a rock of a defensive performance today. It has. They've come under an awful amount of pressure and you take a great deal of satisfaction from that as a defender. Well, I think he was the best performer in a good team today. Yeah, maybe the difference between the two sides. Really solid, really good performance from him. everything behind that shot and frustrated that it wasn't quite on target well, he... really hit the shot's on well, this isn't getting any better for him, Alan, is it? But well, he's still going to have time. Still going to have chances, I think. Shots on here. A goal at last. The first goal of the game. And we've waited well over an hour to get it. But it's the team that have looked the most likely that have done it. And maybe they will use this as a platform to go on.
Hi there again, everybody. Martin Tyler along with Alan Smith for your commentary today on this match, which is going to have an extra factor to it, the heavy rain that's been falling. Yeah, the ball is going to skid across the surface. I did used to like these kind of conditions because you get one or two mistakes. If you're on your toes, it's one or two goals about for strikers. Here's the kickoff, and the game is underway. So this is how the hosts line up today. The system that we think they're going to go with is 4-5-1. That one striker will need a bit of support. Yeah, you do not want him to be left isolated. Otherwise, this formation will not work. And the opponent... And shoots! Goodness me, it's hit the post. Fine margins down there. Woodwork playing its part but if they keep on playing like this I think the goal will soon come it's with Toure a lot of defenders between them and the goal but they still got the ball in the push for the playoffs we've got uh, a massive match up here and the visiting team actually have got the just the keeper to beat right from the kickoff they look like scoring they have now sharp from the off and what a good goal And look at the net pulled in there because he has blasted that hole from outside the box. So the first goal, it's 1 0. Conte. Oh, he spotted the pass and cut it out. Did well, stuck out a foot and cut off the pass. Going in as a group in midfield, not as individuals, to win the ball back. Couldn't keep it. Well, here comes the support. He's got it away. An opponent around him, that's good screening of the football. And here they are, on the attack. That's a wonderful tackle. looking back as commentators do on the previous meeting which was a draw um, it does have some relevance I suppose because the sides are, are pretty well matched when you look at the the lineups that there are today but it's another day another game and we'll wait and see yeah well I don't know how many chances we'll see out there I think it's a case of if you do get a chance you'll need to take it because we have got two excellent defenses The good thing about these pitches these days, even when we're getting rain like we're getting here, it just goes straight through. It does, and uh, it means the ball moves so fast across the surface, and uh, that's great for attacking quick play. And there's the interception. Trying to pick out someone in the centre. But well, that's the keeper's ball from the moment the cross left his foot. Toure. Bit of space to go forward into with the ball. That's dangerous to pull the ball down here. Here's a chance to go down the outside of the opposition. Lovely ball. Well, the signal's gone up for two minutes. It's 
with Toure. He's had a go, that's brave of it. Don't mind his ambition, but the execution wasn't too good. I think from that distance, you've got to try and use a bit more power. So it's 1 0 here. Well, the rain has continued through half time and it is relentless. This pitch can only take so much more water. It's one back. Good distance to the clearance then. Cleared it well. He's got his shot off now. Oh, what a fine goal. They lead by two now. They'll feel a little bit more comfortable. And they're good value for this advantage at the moment. Restarting at 2 0. Toure. That's good movement forward here. Great interception. Bit of a desperate lunge, that, and he's going to get booked for it, I think. It's a yellow card, and... Well, it was a certain yellow card, wasn't it? Yeah, I think so. Looking back on it, he had no choice at all. It's a clear foul from that sliding challenge. He's caught the man and not the ball. No doubt a foul. It'll be a throw. Conte. Jonathan Petroipa. Maybe took his eye off the ball. Well, we're two thirds of the way through the 90 minutes, half an hour to go. It's looking good, this move. And the goalkeeper's got to collect the ball for a goal kick. We want to see that goal again, don't we? Toure. What we get to see, of course, the assistants don't. Whether that'll change down the years, uh, I'm not sure. But anyway, the replay here shows he's got it right. He has. I mean, there was no real goal-scoring chance, but uh, the defence would be pleased that uh, their organisation caught him off. Only partially cleared, so there's still some problems for them. Oh, that's good defending. Still 20 minutes to go. Well, he makes that transition happen quickly. That's a combination of skill and will to hold off the opposition. Jonathan Petroipa. That's his game, isn't it? Intercepting. Good at cutting those passes out in that middle of the park. Done well under pressure here to hold the ball as the. And now the shot! Working hard just to see maybe a sight of goal. Giving the opposition a problem with their interpassing. Comes out with a punch to clear the danger. Good vision. Good deep cross towards the far post. Splendid goal here. 
I think this is the kind of player who's got the kind of ability that you know if you can get the ball out to him, he will deliver an end product, and he did there, didn't he? little surprising that it is as one-sided as this late in the game, but the team leading deserve the margin of what's going to be a very comfortable victory. We've got two added minutes. It's with Toure. Blows the whistle for the last time. Journey, so making friends is the best plan. Home is somewhere where you're spending the best time. Oh, always chilling with my jeans in the keys. Grab a good life, we'll try eat it and please. Let me speak what I see. Uh, see what I speak when I'm breathing on peace. Keep my side for complete. Uh, east side is where I call home. Come to ends, fam. I'll show you what I am. I miss the days when we were rolling. Parkside cafe strolls, then back to mine. Almost every time. What a sweet, sweet day to roam Golden undertones Oh, it's good to be home Oh, it's good to be home Hello everybody, I'm Martin Tyler, alongside me the familiar voice of Alan Smith. Yeah, it should be a cracker today, really looking forward to it. Alan, what do you make of the home side here today? Well, not too much to get excited about for this side. A mid-table finish and uh, they can't do any better or any worse now with one game left. But uh, I'll certainly be hoping for better things and I think there is room for improvement within this squad. So this is how the hosts line up today. Well, we think, Alan, it'll be a 4-5-1 formation, which can look a bit negative. Yeah, but you look at the players in that five, that midfield five, and I think a couple at least will be trying to support the lone front man. Let's have a look at how the opposing team will line up today. He looks as though the manager has set up a team here. Whatever happens, we're not going to be beaten today. does look that way, doesn't it? And uh, I hope it's not a dull affair, this, because we've seen these managers set up teams in the past and just concentrating on a clean sheet well there's no doubt what is the problem Alan with this home team today they can't score enough goals they have everybody scored more than them yeah confidence by the sound of it is really low and the manager before this match would have had his work cut out to lift the spirits he's got his shot off now they've got a corner now Corner played into the middle. Absolutely no trouble for the goalkeeper here. And the assistant signals for the throw. Back 
that game finished goalless between these two earlier this season. On this ground, maybe we'll get a goal. That's a silly tackle, really. For the ref, a decision, and the decision is yellow. I don't think anybody, least of all the player, can have any complaints about that. Crisp defending there. And now a throw in. Jonathan Petroipa. He's given it away. On the move and able to cut out the pass. Undoya. Using his physical power to protect the ball. It's one back. Undoya. And that will clear the danger. Jonathan Petroipa. Just working away to try and find an opening. And shoots! Really hit well, but didn't trouble the goalkeeper. Yeah, maybe a little sighter for him there. Jonathan Petroipa. Well, then it goes. Oh, that's good defending. Conte. Well, they're having to defend, aren't they? So he's come deep and he's got hold of the ball and they can build off him. Now the cross has gone behind. It's a poor effort. You can see that offence again here. The ref had a good angle, good view of it as well. Bar. Undoya. There's good progress with this attack. Must take the lead here, which they do in good style. No, they played some good football leading up to that, Martin, and thoroughly deserved that goal. Well, they've just squeezed this goal in, in the first half, time almost up. Yeah, I think we were all, and they were just looking at the ref, waiting for him to blow the half-time whistle. So the first goal, it's 1-0. And up goes the board. There'll be two added minutes. Still got a bit to do, but this is promising. Trying to pick out someone in the centre. Good defensive clearance there. So it's 1-0 here. Forty-five minutes to go as we start the second half. Undoya. Out into the wide areas now. Goal kick now. This is a chance to take another look at uh, Petropa's goal. Just a period of keeping the ball for the team that are winning the match. It's with Toure. Jonathan Petroipa. Some players limbering up for the away team. Substitution in the offing. Well, we're going to get substitutions from both camps now at the same time. Cleared away by the defender. 
A little bit risky, this manoeuvre of dropping off because the ball will keep coming at them and they won't be able to get out. Bar. Undoya. It's gone out for a throw. And it's going to be a substitution now for this team. Whipped in from the wide area. And they get it away. Trying a bit too hard trying to force the pass and it went to straight to an opponent. That will help ease the pressure. Good vision. Well, that'll run straight through to the goalkeeper. Marvo. Just a quick check on the clock, and there are 20 minutes to go. Marvo. Marvo. Bar. Now they're looking to get forward from this position. Building steadily here, keeping possession. Calm piece of defending, no real pressure on him. It wasn't the best cross. Bar. Still as we are on the scoreline, but there's still time, even this late in the game, for a twist to the tail. Marvo. Marvo. Gone a little early there, I think. Flags up. Yeah, a bit over eager to get on the end of it. Well, it's uh, one change, and it looks like it's a case of just trying to freshen the team up a bit. Seven more minutes to go. They've worked so hard, the team, to be in front here. And that's been recognised by the supporters. Yeah, I think they recognise that it has been a really good performance, but still a bit of work to do. They've got the ball back. The interceptor got it for them. Gomis. Conte. Two more minutes to play, that of added time. Toure. Everyone wanting the ball, which is great for the team that are winning and keeping the ball. And It's finished now with the final whistle. Well, it's a way to end the season. Enjoyed working with you, Alan. Yeah, it's been another really enjoyable season. And you know what? I can't wait for the next now. Really hit well, but didn't trouble the goalkeeper. Yeah, maybe a little.